In this video, we are discussing spark transformation functions. So there are so many functions are there and you will be concentrating only those functions which are very much regularly used and in our spark related applications. So here we are having one table, the first column is containing the function name and the second column is containing the purpose and description of the function. So first function is map. So returns new RDD formed by passing elements from the source through the map. So in the case of map, the user can put the respective business logic and here it will take the same partitions, same number of partitions as, as input and same number of partitions will be produced as output. So that is the main concept in this map and like all transformation functions, it will take RDD as input and produces RDD as output. Next one is the filter, returns new RDD by selecting those element who where filter returns true. So filter will have some criteria, so depending upon the criteria, those records will be selected from the input to the output which are matching with the criteria. Next one is the flat map, so here each input item can be mapped to zero or more output items. So here in case of flat map, it will have say n number of partitions as input and it can produce 0, 1 or more than 1 partitions as output. So that is the basic concept of this map, flat map method and here each input item can be mapped to 0 or more than output items and more output items and that is known as the flat map method. We are having a separate video on this map and flat map method, you can also watch that one. Next one is the map partitions this particular method. So same as map but runs map task for each partitions of an RDD. Next one is union. So it returns the new RDD after performing union operation on the data. So it will return the separate another RDD there is a new RDD and which is performing the union of our data. Next we are going for group by key method. So this particular function is that a data set with key value pair will be converted to key and then iterable values because it is a group by key. So key will be there for the same key the iterable on the values will be obtained in case of group by key method. Next one is the short by key function and shorts the data on the key of key value pairs. So it will short it depending upon the key value pairs. So depending upon the key in the key value pairs. Next one is the join function and when called on kv and kw the key value pairs it returns k v comma w and that is known as the join operation. Next one is the Cartesian. So find Cartesian product of two data sets that means all possible combinations of two data sets. Next one is the repartition and shuffle the content of an RDD randomly and it may create more fewer more or fewer data sets and that is known as the repartition. So these are the different functions which are available in our transformation on RDD. Thanks for watching this video.